Hey, good people. Welcome back to Beauty and the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. So I am filming this a little bit earlier in the week again. My purchase or pass, it's Wednesday. And I'm gonna finish up filming on Thursday because I'm going out of town for once and I'm really excited. Anyway, I'm sure we have a ton to talk about, including Mama Pat. So if you wanna go ahead and comb through all of the makeup releases with me, keep on watching this video. Of course, let me know what you think. And if makeup is your therapy and your love, if it makes you happy and you wanna hang out with someone that feels the same way, definitely consider joining the community. I'd love to have you back. All right, let's get started. So yes, y'all, going out of town. So if there's anything that comes out on Friday and I, you don't see it in the video, it's because I'm filming it a little bit earlier in the week. So we'll definitely talk about it next week. Please leave it in the comments so that I can make sure that I mention it in next week's video. Or I might end up talking about it during the week in another one of my videos. So let me move over. I'm gonna get my screen record and we are going to get going. Wait a minute. What's this? Why do these blushes look like this? Y'all, okay, strike one. First of all, I, so coincidentally, I'm wearing the Gucci blushes, okay? I'm wearing bright coral and I'm wearing rosy beige on this side. I just filmed the video. Y'all, I was like, are these new shades? Because that middle one, I feel like has to be bright coral. I don't know what kind of lighting this is. So this one is definitely the one on the right, but this cannot be bright coral. That shade looks like something else because if I saw a blush that looked like that in the pan, I would have gotten that one instead of this one. Lighting can make such a difference, y'all. Yes, okay, I'm sorry, I wasn't even looking at the caption. That's how, that is not bright. That looks like a peach, like a real peach, like a real coral peach. Bright coral looks like this, okay? I'm just like, no, you know, it looks like this. Tender apricot, that looks even deeper. These Gucci blushes are light, y'all. They're light, but I'm like the um, picture. All right, let me do what I said I was going to do. Okay, let me do what I said I was going to do because, you know, mm -mm. Mm -mm, not that Game of Thrones. See, y'all already starting off wrong with me. Is this an advent calendar? No, no, no. Let me, okay, calm down. Let's get it together. I've, I'm stuttering, I don't even know. Let's see where we left off. Did we talk about this Dior collection? Did we talk about this? Cause these are like more uh, accurate pictures. I can't remember if we talked about this or not, but I think I need to pass on this collection. We have Cosmic Eyes and Galactic. Ah, uh, I don't know. <sighs> Cosmic Eyes is a bit interesting to me. I'm wondering what the swatches look like. Cosmic Eyes is, is, is a little neat because those browns on the left look like warm-ish to me. And then you have those coolest shades and whatever this is in the middle, I'm hoping that would be a shimmer. Could be a possibility. The blushes look great. Uh, Galactic looks okay, but I feel like those aren't my shades. They're just a little cool for me. It, it would have to be a mix. I, I, I don't know if I'm into these. These blushes do look very nice and potent. Uh, more lip shines. I, mm, these look a little redundant and I have a gazillion lip shines and the case is okay, but the fabric cases that I talked about last week, those, those are it. So these are definitely a pass. These lipstick shades are nice as well. Hmm. The two on the, the right look really nice, but I'm just not sure. And the nail polishes are definitely a pass. That mystic shade looks like the shade that came out in 2020. So no, no to that. This collection is coming soon. Let me know what you think about this one. Cosmic Eyes, 
Mmm. That's catching my eye a bit, but not like Pat McGrath. So let's move on. Y'all, I'm sorry. I'm really drawing a bit of a blank. So let me just uh, keep with you all for a second. I think I might've talked about these backstage. I did, I did, cause I, no, I didn't. I don't think I did. The backstage um, palettes. These are probably gonna be a no as well. I do like the green one. The green was actually nice. Let me know your thoughts on the backstage palettes. Did I say backstage passes? I thought I said backstage passes. I don't know what I said, but mm, I think these should be a pass as well for me. So let me move on. I think I mentioned the NARS blush palette going to Sephora. It is there. If I get this, I'm going to wait for friends and family, which starts on the 30th or the Sephora sale. If I get this, I'm actually thinking about this over the Pat McGrath blushes, but we'll get to that shortly. I think these shades look fantastic and I love my NARS Afterglow palette. Um, that's one of my favorite blush palettes that I purchased this year and these shades look really nice. So I am considering this and I'm definitely considering the eye shadow palette uh, with this collection when it comes out. Look at these shades. These are so nice, especially Paramount. Yeah, yeah. Not a huge fan of the stars, but I'm a huge fan of the blush. A lot of gift sets. I, I might be a little bit redundant, y'all. And if I am, I do apologize. But I mean, we can talk about makeup more than once. I see here we've got some things from Beauty Bay. This palette. I see we have a couple of releases from Beauty Bay. So the Berry's 42 color palette is just really ridiculous. Uh, I like these shades, but I'm not gonna do a 42 color palette. I'm also not going to do this palette either. This is a gift set. I'm not into this at all. So no, just gonna move on. I do wanna share that my Notoriously Morbid palette that I purchased did finally ship, not finally, it did ship. So hopefully I'll have that soon and can have a video up. Talked about Nomad. Let's get to what we are here for, okay? Did a whole video about the Pat McGrath Celestial Nirvana holiday release. This is the best holiday release that I've seen so far. I am not gonna get everything in this collection. When I did my video, I was talking about all the stuff I was gonna get, but the dust has settled just a taste, just a taste, not all the way. And I'm gonna tell you what I'm thinking about. So for sure, uh, hopefully by this time, I have purchased the Mega Palette. Oh, so I don't know, I'm thinking maybe just the palette's releasing on Friday the 23rd, but I'm not sure. Uh, and this video is going to be going up and, and locked and loaded. So I'm not really sure I can update in a comment, but I definitely want to purchase the palette, but I do know that Pat McGrath comes out with bundles. Just not sure if the whole thing is releasing or just the palette. I'm thinking it's just the palette, but I'm also not sure. As of right now on Wednesday evening at 7 50 PM, I've not seen an update on her website with the the holiday collection she does have it on there that you can sign up to be notified but that's all i've got now the palettes a yes these blush palettes are really questionable for me i think they're a great idea however both blush palettes do contain repeat shades but i think one has more repeat shades than the other and because of the amount of pat mcgrath blushes that i own which are six of the original and i think three or four of the duos which none of these are included i'm not sure if this is going to be worthwhile for me to purchase that's why i was saying that i might just go with the nars because at least with the nars i know they're not exact shades that i already have as far as i know yeah because i think the nars Blushes are limited edition shades. Depending on the pictures that you've seen, some of these blushes look a bit light. The other blush that I'm concerned about, oh, wait a minute, these two um, mini palettes, I want the two mini palettes. The pink one is a bit questionable only because I have so much pink by Pat McGrath. So I'm thinking about what I'm gonna do with those, but I do think most likely I will get the big eyeshadow palette and these two small ones. I don't think I'm gonna get the coal eyeliner. I don't have that product uh, from a pre the previous release, but I don't think I need that. I am interested in this highlighter. 
Although I know I don't need a highlighter, but I'm interested in it. I, I love the way it looks and I know it's going to be a good highlighter. Again, I haven't seen any prices, so the prices could change my mind. This Nude Venus uh, number two blush, I think that's what it is. I'm not gonna get this. To me, it looks super light. So this is a no, no. The lipsticks are a no. Now, the mascaras. If I were to get any of them, I think it would be the electric blue one. I think it makes a nice accent. You could do like the bottom lashes. I don't really think I would wear the teal color or the bright pink. I have had those colors before, like from ColourPop, but these are luxury mascaras. I just don't know. And I even have the electric blue from ColourPop. I don't know if it's worth the money to get a Dark Star mascara in that color. I'm thinking like I should just get the Dark Star regular mascara because I did run out of it and I did like it. So the mascaras are questionable. So right now, it looks like I'll be getting the three eyeshadow palettes. I'm just not sure about those blush palettes at all. I saw the swatches, but mm, I'm not sure. Either way, this is a beautiful collection. It is massive and I think that she did a very good job. I think not only did she appease her stands who have been waiting for these colors from Mama Pat. She also came out with the small neutrally palettes that I think are, are gonna go for people who want something for every day and aren't into the big palette. So I see something for everyone here. She's got a bold lipstick, a light lipstick. She's got, um, you know, the two blush palettes. I think one is more rosy, one is a little deeper. I mean, they have a nice mix of shades. Not sure of the purpose of the big separate blush. I don't really know why we did that. The, again, the highlighter's great. And then she's got the highlighters in the blush palettes. So there's something for everyone in this collection and I think she did a great job. I don't have any complaints at all. I am not going to complain because I've been doing a lot of complaining. What? Gucci looks like they are releasing two lipsticks as a part of their holiday 2022 collection. Janet Rust is not a new shade. I have Janet Rust, which looks really nice. It just looks like the packaging is different. And then there's this shade Devotion. If this is that glitter lipstick that they come out with, no, terrible, horrible. I had it in Agatha Orange and it was a hot mess and you could feel the glitter, so no. Nope. Now let's talk about this here. You need to leave. Because Clay Poe is doing a 40th anniversary Radiant Sky collection with some Radiant Sky high prices. I talked about Shanta High being high. The La Creme. $14,840 and 60 cents. And then the lipstick set, three lipsticks for $5,477 and 88 cents. So the packaging is forged in gold and silver and studded with diamonds. Um, is this solid gold? It has, is it refillable? This is wild to me, 14,000. I'm just waiting to see the review. I'm waiting to see a review because I can't and I shan't and I'm not gonna hold y'all any longer with that because that's a lot going on. Um, moving on, see some indie stuff. Mm, not goosebumps. We see the sneak peek from Huda. I'm gonna get to that. A lot of something's coming, something's coming. Davina is coming, Glam Light's coming, something else is coming, everything's coming. Uh, I, I, okay, let's go to Chanel. I like this. I'm into it, and that's all I have to say. Now, they're coming out with this little quad, which I like these colors. The peachy highlighter is the one that they're showing. I like that too, yes. Look at the quad. I think it's beautiful. Yes, it's basic, but that's where I'm at right now in my life. I'm wearing like highlighter on my eyes right now. That's where I'm at. This is for me at this time. Um, that looks ashy, but they, they, are, they are bright. I've seen other pictures. And then these lipsticks, I don't think I've tried this formula, but I like the one on the right. And then the other two all the way at the end. I think those are like liquid lipsticks. I haven't tried those. Not sure if I would get those. 
but that uh, mauve rosy type rosewood shade in the middle like that don't know if I need it the nail polish I don't know if I would get that either definitely not the red I like that little um, kind of antique gold shade in the middle that's kind of nice and there's a top coat not sure if I'm doing all of that either but definitely the quad and one of those highlights what is this body oil and a body gel definitely don't need that so there's the whole collection let me know what you think oh yeah illuminaire oh okay yes so i'm calling it a highlighter it's an illuminating face powder is that a highlighter i don't know i'll find out i don't think this is going to be available until sometime in october it looks like it's not going to be available until the end of october in japan so i'm just keeping my eye out on this and i'd love to just see some videos and swatches but i like it is it like special is it like pat no it's not but i do like I do like it. I like just the, I like the basicness of it, to be honest, but it's not basic money. That's, that's the issue here. I did tell you that the Huda Beauty palette was leaked and now it has been officially released so we can talk about it. This is called Empowered. And right away, this gives me Natasha Denona, my dream palette type vibes. And so why is, okay why is um i'm gonna turn back to it but why is power in parentheses empowered why is that in parentheses to emphasize it what are we emphasizing empowered like i'm confused let me know if i'm missing something i might be missing it and that's okay but i don't like that i don't like that at all Let's go look at the palette and swatches. Sorry, y'all. Just I just had to share that. So we've got one thing I enjoy. There's no Petri dish shade. Glad she left that out. Looking at this, this is a combo of rose quartz and naughty nudes. That's exactly what this is. I think it's going to be a great palette. I just don't think I should get it because I just got the Natasha Denona one and I just feel like it's really close. I would need to do like a side by side. Swatches look really nice. And I definitely love the, the shade names, Manifested, Big Dreams, Keep Going, Charisma. There are some differences I think with this palette from the Natasha Denona one, like the golds. These cool tones in here are just shades I am not sure I'm gonna wear like that. I don't know let me know what y'all think about this palette because looking at the swatches I like it now this is more shades than Natasha Denona right because Natasha Denona is 15 this is 18 so not not much more let me know what y'all think about this palette I mean it's definitely something I could consider getting on sale like for the Sephora sale that's a thought that's a possibility. This uh, right here, you know what this reminds me of? Natasha Denona bronze. This little, uh, these swatches here, like those real cool shades remind me of Deep Dive and Rhodium. Mm-hmm. And then the rest of the shades just remind me of the bronze palette. I need to pull out the bronze palette. That's what makes me want to pull out my baby. Okay, it looks like we've got some lip products here. And I think maybe a highlight, some mascara. So yeah, let's see. Oh, face gloss. No, that looks like the Petri dish, so no. There's also gonna be a brush set. So this is gonna be available on October 3rd. So this is gonna be in time for the Sephora sale and the Sephora friends and family. Let me know what you think. I like the palette. I'm not saying I don't like it, I do. I do. I don't want to. And I don't like that power in parentheses, so I'm gonna move on. Let me move on. I'm not going, I'm not, I'm, let me calm down. All right, let's move on. Let's see what we see. KVD Beauty has a black li liquid lip. That's a no. Surratt, no. What is this round two? Bella Butte Bar, strange and unusual. Okay, so this is like Beetlejuice. This is pretty. I'm not sure about their formula. I've never tried them, but y'all know how I feel with all the indie brands. It's, it's too many similarities, so I have to move on. Louboutin is doing too much with this mascara, so no. House of L is gone, so I hope that if you wanted that, 
you got your hands on ordering that. Okay, the Minka eyeshadow palette is gonna be coming this fall. We talked about that from Adept Cosmetics. They're starting with the black and white stuff, so I wasn't even gonna show that, but then they did have that, but we've seen that. But you know, just keep in mind that that's coming. Then we see a whole bunch of black and white stuff, I can't. Davina's coming out with Phantom Orbs, three sparkle chromes and three velvet chromes. Uh, haven't seen these, but these are gonna be available on October 1st. I will keep y'all posted in next week's video. Claire, I'm just gonna keep it on this. Clarity's got a Croc palette coming, a sneak peek. Beauty Bay has another palette. What is this? Oh, I thought those were, oh, they are Care Bears. What kind of Care Bears? You need to what is this? These don't even look like Care Bears. Those look like Scare Bears. Like this. Maybe I can help you after your shower. Yeah. I'm scared of this. I'm not, I'm not with these scare bears. They don't even have, why are their eyes like that? Can bears count down five, four, three, two. Mom, can you please help me now? I'm trying. Where's Mr. Tyrone? Cause he's real good at it. Copying stuff? Yep. He's in the shower. Why don't you wait till he gets he, out? I have I an heard idea. The, I heard the shower open. This is what I think you should do. If you take your shower and he takes his shower, shower plus shower equals, he'll be free to do the airplane with you. Huh? He, he wants my hair today. Nope, cause you just washed it yesterday. Hair? Yes. Okay, We're into that. We're into can hygiene. Get, can I get out myself? Can you get it out yourself? Can I get out the shower myself? Nope, cause I gotta wash the bed. Um, we're into hygiene, brushing three times a day versus two, and sometimes one. And we're into washing our hair. I'm into hey. it, he's into it. Last thing we have here is this, okay? You need to leave. Is Talking about Christmas is coming, like winter is coming. Why are they on this Game of Thrones bandwagon right now? Like, I am so confused. This is not behooving anybody. Game of Thrones is over. And nobody wants this. No. I don't have anything to say. Except you need to leave. This is too much. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pull out my Game of Thrones Urban Decay. That's what I will pull out by Urban Decay. Well, friends, I... Did we talk? We didn't. Wait a minute. Let me scroll back down. Hold on. Cause I feel like I'm missing something important because for some reason I kept missing these unearthly cosmetics, Halloween palettes. I don't know why I don't see them. One. Okay. Here they are. Mm, okay. So let me talk about these, the weirdos. This is already going to be released because it's releasing on the 22nd. Okay. There's that. Now this is like classic unearthly cosmetics. We have the, which is this one? So Strange, nice, not for me. And then 1964, also not for me. Considering the weirdos. You know I'm on the PR list with Unearthly Cosmetics and we got to choose one palette and I didn't choose any of these because I might buy this one up. Let, honey. Cause I really need somebody. Tell me I ain't like somebody. Like, come on. I have never seen an Aaliyah, Queen of the Damned, inspired palette. And this is the one that I chose. Because how could you choose anything else? How could you? Warms my blood. Okay, this is already in route. I cannot wait. Look at this palette. Look at it. This is gorgeous. Best idea ever. Best suggestion. Okay. I'm into it, it's on its way. Might get the uh, Weirdos one, cause I just like that color story. The other two, no, but come on y'all. Look at that, half matte, half shimmer, half man, half amazing, like come on. Sorry, half man, half amazing didn't really apply. That's a Nas quote. Anyway, moving on. Okay, cool, I'm about to come get you. Y'all, I can, okay? I almost forgot about that. Still waiting on the Hourglass palettes, but hopefully I will have that Friday, but I'll be out of town. Uh, 
do we talk about Bobby? Do we talk about Bobby? I think these look nice. I think these are kind of cute. Let me know what y'all think. Did I talk about these last week? I might have talked about them last week. I really do think these look cute though. Bobby. Wow. Like this one right here. I'm coming. That looks great. Can I get out? I'm coming. These look good. Okay. Let me just see if there's anything else. I forgot. I don't think that there's anything else that I want to mention today because everything is sneak peeked. Yes. I'm coming. Makeup Revolution is doing too much. I'm on trim mood. I can't. Mom. Huh? Mom. All right. I'm coming. That's it for today, y'all. I will be back to wrap this up if there's any more, um, you know, releases. What is this? Not, not Brad Pitt with the skincare brand and Travis. B not Barker Wellness. Let me go, y'all, because I can't. I'll be back. Tomorrow. All right, you guys, it is Friday morning. It's the 23rd. Pat is gonna be releasing today. And um, I'm also going out of town today. I just woke up and I, I, I don't wanna say I procrastinated, but time just goes by so fast. I feel like I'm always running. So anyway, just woke up barefaced. I wanted to come back on here and just see if there was anything else that uh, we should talk about before I close out the video. Oh my God, I'm so pale. So let's see. Let's first go to Pat McGrath's website. Oh my God, I wanted to get this palette from Unearthly. They have a second pre-order. I have to think about it because I was saying um, earlier that we got to choose one, but this was the second one that I liked. I'm not 100% sure how often I would wear this, but out of the rest of the palettes, I thought this one was really nice. So anyway, that's the thought. Now let me um, go to Pat McGrath. So of course, when you're watching this, um, hopefully I've snagged the palette, but we do see that the palette is $82 and that it's gonna be available at 9 a.m. Eastern time. The Mascaras are going to be available and then she's got a bundle with the intensifies for 102 and then the Blush and glow cheek palettes are going to be coming soon. I decided against these. I probably said that already uh, Due to the repeat shades the highlighter will also be coming soon The nude Venus 2 is going to be coming soon I did say I wanted anything that was nude Venus, but I don't think that's going to be smart I think is going to be really close to the new Venus that I already have. So I'm skipping that. Uh, the eyeliner is going to be available soon and the lipsticks are going to be available soon. And the mini palettes. I do think I want this bronzy one. So I don't know if I mentioned all of that on Wednesday when I recorded, but that's going to be it for that. And she did close the vault. So there's that as well going back to makeup release radar i know there have been some things i think we stopped with that mess advent calendar and uh, let's just see if there's anything else suku is releasing an aurora breakup collection this is going to be a, a pass what is this though this uh palette on the right what are those are those blush that palette on the right with the yellow what is that i don't know what those are Oh, they're, oh, they are blushes. Okay, they're blushes. Okay, because I see that uh, they have three colors. Okay, this is interesting. Hmm. Let me know, have they made something like this before? This looks kind of cool, maybe, sort of. Not sure how the yellow shows up. Okay, I'm not getting it, so. No, we're doing. Okay, we have a sneak peek from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Well, it's not really a sneak peek. I think this is called the rose metals um we're gonna just go ahead and look at the full reveal and here it is i actually like this palette there are 12 shades six mattes and six shimmers and this is going to be available on september 26th so that's monday yeah i think this is pretty solid it really looks like a sister to the nouveau palette currently i'm not purchasing anything from anastasia beverly hills so this is going to be a pass for me talked about dior lipsticks something's coming from lethal cosmetics on the 28th 
So I see there's a UFO. We'll see what that's gonna be. Okay, Makeup Revolution has more stuff. They got a Halloween collection. They have a, a Beetlejuice collection. Those are no's. I'm not interested. There's a, a Bare Minerals holiday collection. Um, this is gonna be a no for me as well. ColourPop has their Hocus Pocus 3. I'm not getting that. Sneak Peek from another indie brand, uh, that's a no. Is this the sugar drizzle? Okay, ooh, okay, here's the sugar drizzle polish palette. This is pretty. So this is the, not the Trick Roar Treat palette. You need to leave. It is 6, 12 in the morning. I should not have to play that sound. It, so it's cute because it's like dinosaur themed or whatever, but like, no. I just wish they had the palettes regular, like instead of this diamond shape idea. I think they did that with something else recently. Color story is great. I know I have these shades. I probably won't wear that bright yellow or the green too, too much. So this palette, mm, this watch is still looking nice. Looking nice. But I'm gonna skip this. This is $28.95 and available on October 2nd at 11 a.m. CST. All right, let's see if there's anything else before I close out. Oh, wait a minute. Might have skipped this because I think this was a teaser. The Fantasy Cosmetica. People seem to love their palettes. And this is cute. This is the Bard palette. So I'm not sure what that means. But very cute color story. Swatches look great. I'm going to be skipping this, but this looks nice. Okay, there's Bard. This is $38.99. It will be available on the 29th. So I think we have everything covered with Makeup Release Radar. I'm just gonna check around and see if there's anything else. I'm certain we talked about Empowered. I'm certain I talked about these celebrity brand um, brands, celebrity brand brands. I'm starting to see some reviews of the NARS Cheek Palette. And I think I talked about this in the first segment and yeah, the palette does look a little lighter in person, which may change things for me because I watch Morgan Turner's review and to me it's more pinky than peachy. I don't know if you would, yeah, I, I call this bottom palette, I think that's a lot more peachy. And when you look at the uh, top photo, it is a lot more pink. Again, I watched Morgan Turner's review. She did the swatches and everything. She didn't seem to be too crazy about the palette. I think she liked it better than last year's, which I don't have. But see, I really liked, I mean, all of the blushes. So if it doesn't look like this, and I'm gonna watch a few more uh, content creators because sometimes lighting can change things. I, I, I don't know. Okay, I don't, I'm not sure if you're going. Marky just like woke up with extreme congestion. So I'm not sure if he's going to school today. But yeah, y'all, this is gonna be really disappointing. I am gonna look again, but oh, that sucks. I'm glad I'm seeing the reviews before I purchased the palette. That's really sad. I really did want that. But now I don't know. All right, again, we talked about the, the prices for Pat McGrath. Just a quick overview. The mega palettes, 82. The small mini palettes are 36, which they may be really tiny for that because, you know, her quads are, what, 65 sometimes? With, or 58 maybe with no special shades. So this is a new formula, 36. These are gonna be small, I think. The blush palettes are 62. Yeah, I think I have to pass on those. The single blush is 39, lipsticks are 39. The highlighter is 60. I am almost wanting to wait for a sale for that. Like I did with the, um, the Bridgerton one. I think I can do that. Mascara, I believe is 36 or 38, 32, okay. Same thing, it's expensive. Just go over to the, the luxury world. All right, there's the NARS collection. Again, I still like the eyeshadow palette. The palette doesn't look as deep in these pictures, but it's still a bit of a letdown. Oh, there are those Suku uh, blushes. Okay, I know 
Are these eyeshadows? Okay, I don't even care what they are. If those are the swatches, then. You need to leave. And she's fair. Now what? Okay, these are the eyeshadows. Okay, whatever this is, if those are those trio things, how about no, Scott? No, absolutely not. It's a disappointment. And we talked about the Chanel, uh, inspired by the Chanel Number no. Five fragrance collection. Let's wrap this up. So I was talking to my friend Lock Maiden on Instagram yesterday, and you know we were both talking about the Pat McGrath collection, and she was saying like she just might totally wait and I was saying I'm not getting as much as I thought so you know it is to me still a beautiful beautiful holiday collection but once the hype died down you know I am really trying to get better at understanding like what am I actually going to use from the collection instead of just going overboard and getting everything and I've done that before and I, I really want to get away from that I don't want to feel like I need to be a completionist with anything. And sometimes that's hard depending on the product and if it's a brand you really like. But in this case, some of these products from Pat are, and I'm not complaining, I'm just noticing because, you know, this is my reasoning for not purchasing. Some of those blushes look a little light for me. And it, it could be the pictures, you know, you're not going to know with Pat until you get it in person because everything is just so heavily filtered but just from the pictures like some of those blushes are light and the mini palette with the mauvey pink color story even though it's a new formula i don't need that color story from pat or from anyone but the bronzy one i think is gonna you know be useful for me in my collection so that's why i don't want to get both but originally I was talking about anything new Venus I'm getting, oh, I'm getting a mascara, I'm getting this. I'm like, are you really gonna wear a teal mascara when you don't really go for those or even the pink one? Probably not. Um, I'd rather take my chances with the cheaper mascara. The cobalt blue, it might be one that I, I go for because I do like that electric blue. Even if you do it as a touch on the bottom lashes, it could be really cute and I, and I think it goes with holiday you know something festive everything else is kind of up in the air until I see real pictures because the promo shots look great but as we see with the NARS palette like I don't know if that's going to be one that I'm going to get I, I definitely know not at full price and um, I'm waiting for the hourglass palettes I'm waiting for notoriously morbid still and waiting for my Unearthly Cosmetics um, Aaliyah palette, warms my blood. I believe that's all, not that that's a little bit, but those are the things I'm waiting for. And I'm just gonna keep on the lookout for everything else. So that's gonna be it. Um, I did wanna say that there's not gonna be mimosas and makeup tomorrow. I'm going out of town. I don't wanna spend a lot of time like editing or anything like that. So I will see you guys next week. I hate not doing mimosas and makeup. It's, it's one of my favorite uh, times to get together and chit chat. But we'll be back next week, y'all. So that's going to be it. If I miss any makeup releases that you're interested in, uh, let me know. And again, I did film this uh, starting Wednesday and then it's early Friday. I usually uh, touch back on these sites after work on Friday but uh, I am not gonna be available. So yeah, let me know if there's anything that you want me to touch on next week that comes out in the meantime. And that's it, y'all. Thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me for another purchase or pass. These are some of my uh, most favorite videos to film. So I hope you enjoy them and I hope this was therapy for you. It always is for me. Until I see you again, make sure you are being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice, stay safe, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.